Hello calculus people, this is Mr. McAllen again, and now we're going to work on our first related rates problem. This problem is set up so that um, we're going to go through the steps, we're going to understand the problem, and we're going to try to do the following uh, steps to solve the related rates uh, problem. And the first step would be to understand the problem and then try to find a static equation that relates all the variables of the problem. Then we want to try to simplify the equation to one variable if need be. We want to take a time-based derivative. And then we want to solve for the rate that they're asking for. So let's first understand the problem. I'll highlight it as I read it. We have a snowball with a diameter of 5 inches. It's melting such that the radius is decreasing. It's decreasing at a rate of 0.1 inches per minute. How fast? is the volume changing. So the first thing we need to do is to understand what type of equation or what equation will a snowball be represented by. So I'm going to pause the video and I want you to discuss this with your classmates as far as what equation would govern the volume of a snowball. Was this the equation that you and your friends found? Cut. Was this the equation that you and your classmates found? The volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to discuss is if there's any way to simplify this function to one variable or is it already simplified for you? So take a moment to discuss that, and then we'll come back and we'll discuss the next step. Hopefully you came up with this conclusion that this function for volume is only a function of one variable only. It's only a function of radius. So now the next step would be to take a time-based derivative of this equation. Work on finding the time-based derivative, and then when you're done with that, unpause the video and see if your answers match up with what I got. Hopefully you arrived at the volume rate of the rate of change of volume is equal to 4 thirds pi times the derivative of r cubed which is 3 r squared times the chain rule differential or derivative dr dt and now we can simplify this where we finally get dv dt is equal to the threes cancel I have 4 pi r squared dr dt if you got this now we're at the point where we can solve for the rate that they asked for. They asked for how fast is volume changing. That would be dv dt that they want us to solve for. All we have to do is simply plug in the parameters that they gave us in the problem. So I'd like you to look, reread read the problem and find out what values you should be plugging into this rate based equation. I'm going to pause the video and let you discuss it and solve for dvdt and hopefully our answers will coincide. Well from where we left off we had this equation finally ready to have our values plugged in. If you notice the uh, given diameter was cut in half so that would be the radius. So I took 5 for the diameter, I cut in half to 2.5 because the formula asked for the radius squared. The rate of change of the radius was given to be 0.1 inches per minute which I should make sure I make that negative because that negative value stands for the radius decreasing. When I finally get my volume, notice what happens with the units. 2.5 inches uh, gets squared, so now I have inches squared 
and my units for my uh, radius decrease in are inches per minute and my final volume rate of volume units are inches cubed per minute and that tells me that I have a rate of change of volume. My final answer is two, negative 2.5 pi inches cubed per minute. Hopefully this video helps you. If you understood this problem, it's time to move on to the next problem in line and try the next related rate problem. Thank you for watching. Again, as always, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel and make recommendations on what you would like to see on this topic in the future.